I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and Savior. And this is the Chapel of Ministries. This is Brother Almas Sarapru speaking. Praise God. Oh, we'll be speaking today on forgiveness. Stay tuned. Glory to God. Almighty God and the Father, bless your holy word as it goes forth today. Let it lift up and inspire all those who hear it and draw them into your kingdom to love and to serve you. We give you glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory to God. My friend, may I ask you, are you going through some troubling times now? Did someone hurt you? Did someone disappoint you? Did someone say something about you that wasn't true? Stay tuned. Glory to God. Forgive them. In Matthew 6.10, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for every man. For if we forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This message is about forgiveness. In Matthew 6.15, but if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you your trespasses. In Matthew 9, 6, But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins. Then said he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thy house. You see, there is healing that comes to our body when we forgive people that hurts us. Praise God. In John 1, 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we have not we made him a lie, and his word is not in us. Yes, God calls us to love one another. Not only that he calls us, but he commands us to love one another. In John fifteen twelve, this is my commandment that you love one another. In John fifteen thirteen. Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. This is as Jesus' words. He's speaking to you through his word. Praise God. God loves you, and Jesus Christ loves you. In Colossians 3.13, And ye being dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh, had he quickened together, and he had given you Forgiven you all your trespasses. Praise God. Isn't that beautiful? All your trespasses are forgiven you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When you ask Jesus to forgive you your sins and come into your heart and save you, He will. He will forgive you your sins. Praise God. He'll give you a new life in Him, holiness and righteousness and truth, and also give you eternal life. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus, for being merciful to me, a sinner. Save by your grace. Through the blood of the cross of Calvary, you have saved me in my sins. Here is something for you to remember. If you will do these things, you will have peace. Ephesians 4, 30, 32. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, had forgiven you. In Ephesians 5, 1, 3, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. In Luke 23, 34, Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they part his raiments and cast lots. Thank you, Father, for your blessed holy word. I give you the message, Father. Praise God. I give them the message you want me to give them. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. In Ephesians 5, 2, 3. And we walk in love as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us, an offering, a sacrifice to God for sweet smell and savor. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, covetousness, let it not be named among you as becoming saints. I just hope that you know the Lord Jesus Christ. If not, just ask him to come into your heart and forgive you your sins and save you from this wicked, evil world. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord Jesus, for hearing my prayers. 
In Luke 6, 37, Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemned, and you, are not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. In Luke 17, 17 3, Take heed to yourselves. If the brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. If he repent, forgive him. Yes, my friend, Jesus Christ is speaking to you. Please listen to him and listen to his words and obey him. If your sister or your brother have treated you unfairly or hurt you, or you may know someone that dealt with you in a situation that wasn't fair to you, that treated you unfairly, there is hope, my friend. There is hope in Jesus. Jesus will help you to ask, ask him to forgive you, to give you his grace, his love through the power of the Holy Spirit, that you have the power to forgive others. Tell them that you are sorry for your sins and how you've been acting to forgive your sins and come into your life and to just help you in this evil, sin-sick world that we live in. Praise God. You may have problems on the job or in the school or in your home. If you would like to help those that help you, you could just forgive them. God will give you the blessings. He will give you His grace to forgive others. Forgive them. Be patient with them. Be kind to them and try to understand them. We are living in a world with a lot of sin and iniquity, selfishness, jealousy, hatred, evil, and violence. Many people cannot deal with the stress of this world and the tension and anxiety. Many people are weak in themselves. Remember what Jesus said, the flesh is weak, but there is life in the spirit. My friend, we need the spirit of God to live in this world, because in him there is peace. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Praise God. So we cannot in ourselves forgive anyone. We need the God's divine holy nature. We, not, we need God's Spirit in order to do this. Many people try to do things on their own, but they just cannot do it. Praise God. My friend, if you need a new life, are you like to come to receive the Lord Jesus? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. His name is wonderful, His name is wonderful, His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything, His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He is a great shepherd, rock of all ages. Almighty God is he, bow down before him, love and adore him. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. Jesus, our Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for this message in your blessed holy word. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. To me he's so wonderful, to me Jesus is so wonderful, to me my Lord is so wonderful. Just to know that Jesus is mine. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his all. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, praise God. Father, thank you for teaching me those wonderful songs. Oh, praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth, the goodwill towards men. I bless the Lord thy God. I praise you, and I glorify your holy name, Father. 
you alone with their praise and glory and honor and power and all dominions in the heavens and the earth under the earth all praise and all glory and all power and honor is yours and the father now and forever you are the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers. Praise God. Omnipotent God, all powerful, omniscient, knowing all things, omnipresence everywhere. Oh, we praise your Father and glorify your name. Glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. My friend, I ask you today, do you know the Lord? Do you know the Lord? Are you born again? Are you born again? Do you need a new way of life? Do you need Jesus to help you to, to give you salvation? You need Jesus to forgive your sins. I might be only talking to one or two people. But if you need to come close to God, you say the sinner's prayer. You'll see he'll have a, he'll have a new life in him. He will hear your prayer and he will send you his Holy Spirit to live in this evil, sin sick world we live in and give you eternal life. Oh, praise God. It all because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who would die on the cross of Calvary for our sins and the sins of the whole world. So you said his prayer now, my friend. You'll see you have a new life in the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Repeat it after me, please. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is your Son. I believe that you have raised Him from the dead. And I believe that as I receive Him as my Lord and Savior, He will cleanse me from all my sins and all my iniquities. I now accept the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and Savior, trusting Him for the salvation of my soul. Lord, help me do thy will each day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord Jesus. So now you have a new life in Christ. And God has said it. If you confess him before man, you confess before my Father, which is in heaven. Oh, praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers today. Touching hearts and lives of your people. So, Father, we'll pray now and ask that you will... Raise these people up today. Let them know and to, to, encourage, to, to encourage them, to lift them up and inspire them, Lord, and to let them know of your love, that you're always present with them. Because you say your angels are about them. Your innocent spirits are there to help them. You want them to have your love and your peace and joy. So let them be happy in the Lord Jesus Christ. Touch your hearts and souls and mind. Anyone that's sick in body and mind today and spirit, I ask that you touch their hearts and soul and their mind and heal them physically, mentally, and spiritually. Let it all be for your glory, Father. And all be for your praise and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and remain with you forever. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Let us go now in peace and love and serve God and one another. I pray God bless you and your families. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.